Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Proxy Hacks here, and welcome back to another episode of Lowser's Conquest. Sorry it's been so long since I've done this in the past. I mean, the last video I uploaded was three weeks ago at the time of recording, and... Eh, I don't want my channel to be inactive for that long, so... In any case, how are you guys doing? Like, be sure to leave a comment below telling me how you guys are doing, because right now... I can't really hear from you guys, but I would like to know how your day is in the comments below. If everything's going okay, then just feel free to let me know. If if you care about it. If not, just don't just don't worry about it if you don't want to. Alright, so anyway, this is a bonus level. Just another one of um Sedner's special levels where you have to complete a certain task in order to actually beat this level. Treasure Hunter Challenge. Find all bonus areas to open up the star exit at the end of the level. Hint, there are four hidden bonus areas, and each time you found one, you can hear a sound. Okay. Also, you will hear a different sound when you have found all four hidden areas. I have a feeling I know what that sound is, and I think it's going to destroy my eardrums because I have headphones on. And I have the volume up relatively high as well. Also... Sedner, I don't know if you intended it to look this way, but you might want to fix the alignment there. You know, I don't know if the, it's just just a minor nitpick. You don't have to. I know I'm technically beta testing your project, so. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't freeze piranha plants in this game, but you can freeze the frogs. So I'm gonna do that. I wonder. Let me just take this out. Okay. Alright. So far I... Man, I mean... The visuals in this game are pretty nice. I mean, yeah. He is using a lot of colors and whatnot. Whoa. Okay. Okay, there's one bonus area with extra cash. Cool. It's a pretty neat idea to, you know, just find bonus areas to actually progress in the game. For a moment there, I thought that was another enemy, but no, it's just... Yeah, never mind. Okay, at least I can take care of these brown plants. Ice... so... At least the fire flower isn't quite as useless as the ice flower is in this game. I mean, yeah, the ice flower has some uses, but what good is an ice flower if you can't take out piranha plants with them? Also, no, we are not doing that again. I'm tired of the frame skipping garbage that keeps happening. Eh, whatever. Also, these trees look very peculiar. I mean, yeah, they're trees, but they have, like, spikes at the end of them, and they have eyes, which I think is really strange. I don't know if he got the idea from Super Mario Land, or, I don't know, but it's just weird. Also, everything looks like plastic. Yep, there's one. There's another one. Now, there are only four bonus areas, and at least they're relatively easy to find, from what I could tell. Also, one thing I find really strange about the sizable is that the fact that the darkest shade is at the very top of the sprite, which doesn't make any sense to me, as far as the light source is concerned. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's a reason behind it, I just don't know what it is. I don't know, I'm just kind of nitpicking at this point. Don't worry about it. Uh, I spy with my little eye, another bonus section, so let's go in here. Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, this isn't one of them? Why not? What? Oh no, not one of these finicky platforms. Oh, I totally... No! I lost my, mo my momentum because... Yeah. I totally just lost my mo... Okay, that, w that time it was my fault. Okay, cool. So that just led to another bonus area. Gotcha. Did that not just count as two? I mean, seriously. 
Oh no, the chasing AI is still following me down here, and also that sound. Oh, my ears. Uh, hearing that with headphones on is just. Oh. No. You are going back to where you belong. In the spikes. At least you can walk on them. Okay. Okay, no. Bad move, bad move, bad move, bad move. I am not gonna go through all of that trouble just to die at the end. Give me that power, thank you. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. By the way, I have absolutely no intention of speedrunning this game, so if anyone's asking me... I'm, not, I'm just not gonna do it. It, just, it's, it seems like too big of a hassle to me. I mean, the game is pretty fun, don't get me wrong, but, yeah. Anyway, let's head over to Sky Tower. This is an area that we haven't gone to. Also, this sign is very misleading, because if you take it, it exits the level. So don't... don't do what the sign does. Just avoid... just go... just disobey that sign and just go in the opposite direction. Just pay no attention to that sign. Ugh. Let's take out that hammer, bruh. Eh. Okay, let's just... Okay. Alright, cool. Alright. No thanks. No thanks, no thanks. Also, he seems to really like Smithy's theme a lot. Or at least the factory. I mean, it's a good factory thing. Like, it captures the atmosphere perfectly. Because you can hear, like, clanging metal in the background. It's really neat. I really like the way this theme sounds. Also, I have to say, because I've played this episode before, or at least I've, I've also played this level before in the past, you'll be very happy to know, and I am also very happy about this, but this, this tower isn't nearly as long is the other tower. I mean, that space tower was absolutely insane. Uh. When, when Beta 4 comes out, and by the way, it's... From what I've heard, Beta 4 is scheduled to release sometime before April of this year. But I am not 100% sure. I am not a developer. That's just what I've been told. It's That was the planned release. Nothing's been set in stone, so... I'm just hoping it comes out soon, like sooner the better. But I mean, like you know, if you, they, they've got to they've got to do what they've got to do to make it good. So yeah, by all means, take your time. Cause I get the feeling like once I start messing around with things, I'll find a whole bunch of bugs. And what's neat about these is that there's going to be so many new things you can do with levels. Like they they're going to add so much. It's going to be amazing. And the best thing about it is that there, it's going to be added to the editor, so you, so um, when you actually go and use the editor, and I'm not talking about the legacy editor, I'm talking about PGE, but like, in this editor, like, you'll be able to choose a lot more things. Like, you already could do that in Beta 3, but apparently a lot of people don't know that because they don't like using PGE. So they automatically assume, oh yeah, like, I can't use some of the new stuff because I need a Lua code for it. Not true! Not true at all. Like, I never see people use, like, Magic Koopas or any of the new NPCs because they they don't understand that you don't need a Lua code just to use them anymore. And that's going to be the case for a lot of these newer NPCs as well. One of the things that I'm really excited for are the Grolls. You can do, from what I've seen, you can do so much with them, and I even asked the developers beforehand that, like, I, I asked them if you could, if they actually destroyed blocks, and they, since, the, and then they recently um, told me that you can't, that they can. So I'm really excited to use that mechanic in a lot of levels. Like, like there's just a lot of new stuff you can do. And I'm planning on doing a lot for my episode that I'm planning on releasing. Don't know when that will be. All I know is that 
this episode's my episode's gonna take its time. It's gonna take a lot of time to finish. Yeah. Just, I'm basically waiting for beta four. So yeah. So in any case, we're heading up this long staircase and I just died! Thankfully I got the checkpoint before that happened. I was able to rant and not get interrupted by my death at least, but Okay, let's just collect that power up and just go straight in. I'm gonna try to tread this area a bit care a bit more carefully. Traverse through just a bit more cautiously. Never mind, I'm just gonna completely ignore my own advice. Yeah, why am I doing that? That was the worst possible jump I could have ever made. And I hap and I and I decided it was a good idea to do it. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. I thought Mario just refused to move him. Okay, that was my fault. Uh, I'm such- I'm so- I'm, I'm amazing. I'm very good at this game. I am so good at this game, guys. I am amazing at this game. I run into every single hazard. Uh, I think that's the end of this level. No, it's not. There's still more to it. Like I said earlier, it's not as long as the space tower, but it's still pretty long. I think this- I think it's almost done, though. I'm just thankful that Sednair finally put checkpoints in the levels. Because... Oh boy! It was a pain trying to get through all these levels. Okay, that is a long jump. And we're still not done. Also, this... Makes hard. This hardly makes any sense at all. Just the way that looks just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Oh boy. At least he's not putting slopes down. I mean, you can add slopes if you, if you so choose. But also, I really like the whole pattern that these blocks make. Oh no. That frame skip almost messed me up. Let's have absolutely none of that. Okay. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Okay. <sighs> Did not want to open that door. Oh boy. Okay, really? Uh, this isn't even supposed. Ah! Okay. Take 506, let's go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Oh, we finally got the star. And listen to very unfitting Kirby music. Anyway, now that that's been taken care of, we're gonna head over to the Warp Star and listen to this awesome music! I really like what he did with the whole space. Like, you know, the whole the whole space graphics, it looks really nice. In fact, it inspired me on my, uh, on my world map tile set, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. I released a world map tile set a couple months ago and he had, whoa, okay. You are from Gaia, right? My name is Maple. Your name is Maple? It's kind of unfitting for a space fairy, for a star fairy. Like, I think a forest fairy would, I think Maple would be more fitting for a forest fairy, but okay. And I am a stardust fairy. Nice to meet someone from Gaia up here. You came here by climbing a tower? I bet you got teleported by touching a warp star. Warp stars are our invention. Cool, huh? Oh, the text. Anyways, I best give you some advice. First, do not try to walk on these clouds beneath us. They look all fluffy, but you cannot stand on them. Also, if you find a star flower and take it away from the stardust islands, it'll lose its power and transform into a simple flower, but you can bring any kind of flower to this place to charge it up. The stardust islands have their influence on the plants from Gaia. Okay, so a star flower and take it away from the star to lose it and turn to simple flower, okay. 
And one more thing. If you want to pass through this area, you need to find a star sphere or the luminous star. Just reaching the goal roulette will get you nothing. Oh, beautiful. I guess all this makes not too much sense to you right now. I guess this doesn't make much sense to you right now. But you will get the hang of it eventually. Just do not worry about it too much. Good luck. Okay, then. So, a bunch of things. A lot of information. Ooh, that's cool. You gotta hand it to Sednair. He really has some awesome, like, some imagination to come up with some of these enemies. Really nice. Also, I really like this, uh, sort of this swimmable area. You can, like, swim in, like, the starry sea. It's pretty neat. And it all animates, too. That's really cool. Must have been a pain to do. I mean... My own experience. Okay, whoa. Okay. Alright, oh, no. Okay, you need to go. How am I supposed to make it up there? That's all I can see. That's all I don't know. Of course that would happen, wouldn't it? Uh, let's just head back in and see what we can find. Now this is entirely new. Like, after we completed the main game, I figured I'd just basically play through all the bonus content. A star shroom, huh? Okay. That did nothing. I'm just gonna... I'll head back to that area later, I guess. Ooh, I love the way those piranha plants look. It's like, they're all starry. It's really cool. I like that. Also, what even? <laughs> that is the most... That is the weirdest fish I've ever seen. Is that like a fish beetle or something? I'm sure Sednair has some weird name for it, but also, ha, huh, I see what you did there. I like how you telegraph your secrets. Nice, we got a star. Okay, let's head down here and see what we can find. Oh, that was dumb. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, no. let's have none of that. I wonder if you have to collect all the orbs or something. I mean, they're basically just coins. Okay, no, no, enough with the frame skips. We d we don't need any of that. We don't need none of that. Take that out. No, stop it! No, 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 no. Don't do that. That's gonna cause me to die. And I really don't want to have to deal with that. Okay, so this was basically... I basically just backtracked. Okay, at least that one doesn't go off the course. That would be a bit of a pain to deal with. At least Sednir knows how to place NPCs. He's very good with NPC placement. Ah. Oh, I really like the way that Venus fire trap looks. It's really neat. Just, just the overall the visuals just look really neat. I mean, and this is his own style, so I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna criticize it based off of like. The amount of colors he used and whatnot, but this is basically his own style, and it's working, so ow. So ow, yes. Like, it's working for what he's trying to do. It's working, so I'm not gonna... So I'm not gonna complain about it. I mean, I wouldn't use these graphics. Like... Well, I might use some of them, but, like... I probably wouldn't use these. Although, when he eventually releases this, when when his episode is done... Oh man, it's gonna be a massive pack. <laughs> Maybe I'll restyle a bunch of this stuff. 
Yeah, I think I'll probably end up, like, restyling it a bit. Then maybe, yeah, obviously giving credit to Sednir as well, but... I'll just restyle it, but with less colors. It's gonna be a lot of work, though. I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna restyle all of it, but, like, some of it. Maybe. That hasn't been set in stone either. That's gonna be a lot of work, and that's not something I have the patience for. have one of the... Okay. Now that we have the rainbow star... Okay. Let's just head over. I, I believe that this level has three stars, but I could be wrong. Last time I I heard from, like, the Mech Dragon, since he 100% of this game, he basically told me that... I think I remember him saying that, um... <sighs> of course, hit finicky hitboxes. Just happened to slightly touch it and you're dead. Just by one pixel. But anyway, I think Mech Dragon told me that um, these these levels have three stars, but I could be mistaken. Like, that, I'm just. I hope they don't have three stars. I think they do, but if they have three stars, that, that's that's a bit much in a level, in my opinion. Just and since this episode is based on just exploration, from what I can tell. I mean, it's done in a pretty clever way, I think. Kind of. But at the same time, it it kind of gets tiresome after a while if you're just exploring everything. Let's head through this path, see if there's anything there. Ooh, love the way that piranha plant looks. It's funny, when I first made my episode, I was actually... Okay, wow, that was dumb of me. So when I first made my episode, um, I was gonna uh, I was gonna try to make my own graphical style as well by using a lot of colors, kind of like what Sednir did. It was so inspiring. But now that I look at it, now that I look back on it, I just realized how weird, how weird I was back then, because I didn't know a thing about spriting way back when. It was just kind of like, okay. So I would ban things, like, if, if you see some of my older tile sets, you know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> of course, at the time, I was very happy about how they turned out, and I would show them off all over the place, and I'm just like... Okay. Of course, nowadays, I'm just like, ugh. Get this out of my sight. Like, currently, I'm just... I'm re I'm basically restyling a lot of my older stuff now, such as my snow tile set. Like I made a remake of that. It's not done yet, but it's it's getting there. I'm kind of working at a slow pace on it. Though. Just a bit. Okay. So anyway, enough about that. Let's. Oh, boy. I really like these enemies, like, they're basically, like, sparkies, except they move at a faster pace. It's pretty neat. I like that. I wonder if he was inspired by Kirby when he made this- when he made these levels. Because these seem like Kirby enemies to me. And apparently they can't die, either, so- Whoa! This is a looping area. Come on, get- get up there. There you go. Alright, let's go over here first. Okay. Ah, I see what you did there. Okay. Let's just... Yeah. Into water. Into water. Blech. Okay, no. Let's not. Let, let's have none of that. Okay, alright, okay. Alright, cool. Jump! Whoa! So focused on time and my jumps. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. All right. A little bit cramped there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not falling for that. 
Okay, now there's only- I have only one question. How on earth am I supposed to get down to that pipe? Oh boy. This is a pretty long level. Must have taken Sednair, like, a long time to make some of these le- Ooh! Star! Gimme! Thank you. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Alright. Nope. This pipe is inaccessible. So... Let's just... Yeah. Let's get over there. Goodbye. Yeah. He knows how to do looping segments very well, too. Well, Sedner's not a bad level designer. Like, he re he knows his stuff, and I don't know why people give him a lot of grief. Like... Okay, well, that part's kind of dumb, but okay. Okay, never mind. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Also, I like the Super Mario Galaxy music he used. It really fits. I mean, of course it fits. It's a space-themed level. <sighs> no! No! No, 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 no! Oh, that was close. That dumb frame skip almost costed me the- my- my life right there. At least I got all three of the rainbow stars, so... Maybe that unlocked something? I'll never know. Oh, boy. Actually, I'll know eventually, but... Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's go in this pipe. Okay, yeah, this... This theme definitely works as well. Let's go in here, see if there's anything. No, there's absolutely nothing in there. Let's just kick the shell in the in the bottomless pit because we can. Uh. Okay. Whoa. Excuse yourself. No, 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 no. Stop that, please. Stop with the dumb frame skips. Okay. That's what almost killed me last time. Four stars! This level has four stars. What? Maybe more. I love that star path, though. Okay, that just heads over to the Beach Warp Star. In any case, I think I'm gonna end this video here. It's been like 28 minutes, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it took so long for me to upload some more of this. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Praxing Hack signing out. Bye.